definitely feeling the heat right here in the Queen City. Today was the hottest day of the year so far, and summer is just getting started here, Lisa. No. What more can we expect? You said you were out earlier today, and yes, I felt that heat too. Yes, we're going to pretty much repeat that tomorrow. However, I do think the heat indices, or what it feels like, mm -hmm. is going to ramp up a little bit because okay. the dew points are going to begin to rise. So today, and I'm sure they were in the upper 60s tomorrow, we're going to get ready for them in the 70s. Basically meeting, it's going to feel a little tropical out there as we head through the day. Overall, this heat wave just getting started. The good news is not ruling out an isolated downpour or a thunderstorm to bubble up, especially in the afternoon or evening, which I am hopeful for your area because one, we could really use the rain. We're about two inches below normal for the month of June, and this will help cool us off a little bit. So as we take a look, recapping, remember we reached that high of 94 degrees, hottest temperature of the year so far. Typically, we should be in those upper 80s. Records are in the triple digits pretty much throughout the week, so not quite record-breaking this week, but obviously big warm-up here. Currently, most of us quiet across Mecklenburg County. As we take a look at Anson County just south of Wadesboro, that's where we're maybe seeing a sprinkle or two, but that little downpour really starting to fizzle up. But not ruling out another isolated shower, which will be possible tomorrow afternoon. Even watching for those in the mountains, but fairly quiet. Temperatures tomorrow in the mid 80s, so even warm when it comes to our mountain communities. Over in the foothills we go, high temperatures, lower 90s. There it is, 20% chance of that isolated downpour thunderstorm, which will be possible about a 30% chance as we head across the Piedmont area. So temperatures here, mid 90s, just like what we saw today, another hot one. And as we get ready for more of this moisture, could potentially feel like those triple digits. Make sure you plan accordingly, especially if you're going to be out and about within the afternoon hours, right around 2 and 5 o'clock especially. As we head across South Carolina, we've got temperatures mid 90s, 20% chance of that isolated shower thunderstorm like today. We're going to have a mix of that sunshine and that cloud cover present. So as we fast forward, taking a look at Futurecast, you can see those downpours just kind of firing up. Don't worry, don't cancel any plans if you have anything outdoors because once this passes over your area, it's going to last maybe 20, max 40 minutes, and then it'll be on the move. So that's the good news, and like we talked about, could help cool us off a little bit, and it would be nice to see some rain. Fast forwarding to 10 o'clock tomorrow evening, a lot of this dies out, but still watching for those showers and thunderstorms. Weak frontal system pushes through, so still watching for that into Monday. Temperatures remaining mid-90s here through Wednesday. Least amount of rain chance. Tuesday. That's just because we're going to get ready for some dry air to settle in. It doesn't last long and then we continue with the humidity as temperatures kind of cool off, if you will. Lower 90s by Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Want to leave you with a look at your seven day forecast. Give you some time to absorb this tomorrow. Mid 90s. First alert in place. Watching for these showers, some thunderstorms again, isolated but possible, including Monday. And then the temperatures continue. Mid 90s, overnight lows in the 70s throughout the week. And then we're going to watch out for more of these showers and thunderstorms by Thursday before we head back into the weekend. And that is a look what we can expect.